A few years ago, we made the world's sharpest knife out of obsidian, which is basically nature's glass and can be sharpened up to 500 times sharper than steel. We're going to remake an obsidian blade on our water jet and compare it to a scalpel underneath a microscope and see how their cut qualities stack up against each other. So we have this big chunk of obsidian here. I'm thinking the best plan is to cut right along here and get a chunk off and then we can cut at another angle to get the shape of a knife blade. Does that sound good, Nate? So in the first video, they tried sharpening it and it didn't really work because it's obsidian. So we brought someone in that knows a thing or two about making knives. Uh, this is, oh, hey. <laughs> hey Nate, how's it going? Going good. All right, glad to have you here. Looking forward to seeing what we're gonna do with this. So we're gonna do this first cut and then cut it at an angle to make it sharp. All right, that's looking good. We've got a nice face there. So we're also gonna cut off a piece about a quarter inch thick so Nate can give a go at napping it. Uh, I am not an expert. Napping is the process that, you know, historically is used to sharpen obsidian where you flake off little bits of it at a time and leave behind that, you know, mythically sharp razor edge to it. I'm not good at it, but I wanna try it anyway. So we're gonna cut a piece for that. Worth a shot. I must say, the pattern on this obsidian is exquisite. This is gonna be a beautiful knife blade. So this is five axis, but it's easier to just put something under the board and angle it that way, so. It's also not calibrated. Yep. <laughs> Okay, we've got our chunk. We're gonna cut a knife shape into it and then cut it at an angle. In the meantime, Nate was sharpening a piece of obsidian. Yeah, we got, there's a knife grinder and I was seeing if you can grind obsidian. Now obsidian is basically a piece of glass and it's not meant for that, it's meant for metal. But it, I was surprised, it actually does grind the obsidian. That right there, that shiny side there, I ground that in. But in the process of doing that, it also chipped. Like none of these little chip marks were in the obsidian when I started. So it was able to grind it, but it also started tearing chunks out of the edge, which is not great for making a nice sharp blade. There we go. That's looking good. How annoying would a quarter inch tang be? I mean, not much more annoying than a sharpened tang. So here's our jerry-rigged setup here. Water jet's straight, blades at an angle, should give us the right cut. This piece looks pretty good, the main part. So I think we're in business if we just rotate it and do the same thing on the other side. Okay, big reveal. That is pretty. The amount of light you can see through the blade, that's really fun. It's the traditional native way of making obsidian blades right here. Yes. <laughs> I think the Mayans pioneered this technique. Yeah, they, yeah. they mastered the water jet for sure. They would blow really hard through bamboo shoots. <laughs> oh wow, look at that. that. It's like a tiger. You can even see the serrations on it. Which we did on purpose. Absolutely. Yep. Mm -hmm. Definitely wanted serrated knife. Yep. <laughs> How does it feel? How sharp? Um, it feels kind of sharp, but okay. I don't think it has like that legendary obsidian, you know, molecules thick blade that, that we're talking about. You're cutting it with water and garnet, which is like microchipping it, but it's not gonna microchip it the same way as if you napped it and flaked off the blade, but. Yes. It's, I understood all of that. It's quite a spine. That is some of the best patterned obsidian I have ever seen. So this was actually sent to our P.O. box and we have big news. We opened a P.O. box. Yes, sir. So feel free to send us things that are 11 inches by 11 inches. Now it was originally shut down because in Mitchell's eloquent words, we ended up with boxes of people's garbage and they spent too much sending it and we're mad when we didn't want to cut their boring garbage that they spent $30 to send. So if you have something that's big and heavy that you want to send us, email us first. Well, 
Tula. We made the state of Kentucky. <laughs> Sharp. Well, you can see a little bit how quick that process is. Clearly grinding right through that. Blazing speeds. Just like butter. If butter were made of glass. My my favorite kind of butter. So this is the knife with the naked eye. This is all the way zoomed out on the microscope. And that's all the way zoomed in. And this is an unsettlingly intimate view of my finger. This is the blade of the scalpel. I'm not sure who Stanley is. This is the edge of the obsidian knife. So you can see how it's basically serrated. Here's the edge of the super thin one. <laughs> you can see through it. This is the blade. What is that? There's a little tiny shard. That's a nice size one. So I think if we were to nap, that would be what the edge would look like under a microscope. I could be wrong. I'm sure there's images on the internet of a napped obsidian under a microscope. Now this is the surface of the cucumber. I don't know what we're learning from this. The idea was to learn that the cut was really good, but uh, what, instead what we're learning is what they look like under a microscope. Ooh, that's gross. Okay, time for the test. Here's the obsidian blade. We got the classic tomato test and a cucumber and a weird looking cheese stick. Oh, look at that. That's like butter. See how thin of a slice we can get. Not very slim. <laughs> Not very thin. Your knife is a quarter of an inch thick. So. <laughs> That's not bad. I have, I have seen worse tomato slicing with more expensive knives. Now I see a contract with Subway. Slice their tomatoes for them. Sell them obsidian knives. This works so much better than I thought it would. Here's a test with this small straight edge. Ooh, that's tiny. I actually really enjoy it. You can see just a little bit of the tomato through the knife before you start cutting. <laughs> wow. You could, you could shave with this. No. <laughs> okay, the real test is this guy. Ooh, that's like a saw. <laughs> but it's a saw that gets through a tomato. Heck yeah. We're, we're splitting these tomato atoms. <laughs> okay, cucumber test. Okay, see if we can get a thin. Oh yeah. Look at that. That's like basically see-through. Just like the knife. Try with the barbershop razor. Just in case you're impoverished. Scalpel. Just glides through there. I see why they use these. For all those surgery on cucumbers they do? Yeah, on grapes. Very conclusive results. I don't know, I think you might have had better at the obsidian. I think so. <laughs> all right, that's ready for a handle. You think you can throw it on here, Nate? Heck yeah. All right. Come check that out on my channel, Nate from the internet. All right, see you around, Nate. Nate? And I don't want to see one comment that we wasted food. Because we had, why we watch pizza, this stuff is delicious. Mmm. Yeah.